Well, it's really good to have friends who are pack rats also. Um, this was given to me uh, by a good friend of mine, and he used this at work. So we both worked at Hewlett Packard together, and he did some project where he was measuring uh, capacitance and inductance, I think, of some small parts, and he wanted to build a fixture. And so uh, he had one of those fancy LCR meters that I've been showing. And so he bought this uh, cable. Now, uh, this is a 16048E. You can still buy these from Keysight, same name. Uh, they are $1,344. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's got the little flippy lever things and it's got good BNCs. Um, it has a ground lead, so this plugs in. It has these funny things here, too. I'll show you what those are for, but those make you set the switches on the front panel to a particular position um, and keep you from putting them in another position, okay? So it obviously has uh, a cable attached to this thing. Now this, the E version is a four meter cable. So four meters is a long way. So I can, I can have my LCR meter across the room. It's about, oh, it's about six feet away from me. Um, so I could be doing testing here and have this plugged into my meter over there. So that's really nice. So, so this is the four meters of cable. And then on the other end of the cable, you get, uh, you basically get, you get this, you get, uh, you get this little terminal block that you can screw down so it doesn't go anywhere. And you get uh, four, four BNCs of excellent quality. Uh, yeah, these even have a HP part number on them. Um, and it comes with a little header block. So the grounds are completely isolated until they hit this piece of aluminum. So this piece of aluminum sets a, uh, a reference plane for all measurements to be made of, okay? So that's that's what you buy for $1,344. Now, he built this part, okay? And so he put the little br uh, plate here on a bracket. He put a little, it looks like this might have come with it also. It looks like this is HP. Yeah, so you get this little T bracket here. And so then he put it on uh, some PC board material and built a little test area here, all right? So you've got force and sense coming down, and uh, these are little isolated PC boards. And I think if you zoom down there, you can see that he's got these little tiny wires here with little solder blobs on them. And so he was able to take little surface mount parts and, and solder them right there, and then make measurements back at the, back at the instrument. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go plug it on. I'll show you how it works. All right, uh, I'm getting in the way of the camera here, but um, this is gonna go here. And you can see these two switches, and there's this block. And if I try to attach this, um, it forces me to put both of those switches in the up position because of these little plastic, plastic things here that poke. Uh, so if I can do this one-handed, there we go. Um, so it, there we go, those are the two switches. The two switches are cable length, and DC bias, so it, it uh, limits you to high voltage DC and long cable length, it's a one meter cable. There's also a ground uh, uh, banana jack that plugs onto the meter too, so now this thing is all, is all set up, okay? And you can see here that we're measuring at point zero five six picofarads, okay? Um, or can you see that? Let me move the camera a little bit. All right, so now that we all have it set up, we have this long cable, we can press the, we can press the zero and uh, cal out that long cable length and everything. And now we're uh, uh, zero picofarads. Uh, very, very nice. <laughs> okay, so we've, we've zeroed this out. Let me go over there. I'm going to uh, grab here a capacitor. This is a thousand picofarads and I'll just jam it on the fixture over there. I'll show you what I'm doing after I, after I make a measurement here. I'll just push it on and uh, I'm not soldering it down. I'm just kind of holding it on by hand. So it's about uh, 990. Uh, and there you go, it's four, four meters away um, and it's still able to make very accurate measurements because of the four wire connection. All right, my instrument's way over there. Okay, and I'm back at my, I'm back at my bench over here. 
and uh, the little test thing will be right here. Change my exposure a bit here, different lighting conditions. And so yeah, so I can make, uh, what I was doing is I was taking this uh, capacitor and just, and just holding it on these two, uh, two uh, connections right here. I'm looking over right now and it's measuring 987.3. Uh, so yeah, so this would be great. Um, the the uh, LEDs are, are, are quite large on that thing. They're like a three quarter inch LEDs. So it's easy to read from across the room. I can make my measurements here. Looks like it's be very convenient.